Okay, from your parts assortment, take out the little white tube. This is the engine mount tube. The two blue rings, the little green ring, and the yellow Kevlar shut cord. And you may also need a spent rocket motor to push things in. Um, now, if you look at the engine tube, it's got a little line on it, and that is for um, the, the edge of the ring. Sometimes these rings have the little burr on the inside, so if you take a dowel and wrap it with some sandpaper, you can take out that little burr, and then it will go on a lot easier. Come on, little booger. There we go. Okay, so this ring is going to be glued right up to the edge of that line like that. And I'm going to use wood glue. I got some wood glue here. So what I do is just smear a little bit of glue on there. Just smear it around with my finger. Have some paper towels handy and then press it in there like that and let's wipe off that excess glue make sure there's no glue on the outside of the blue as well wipe that off good mm. yeah you only get one chance at it <laughs> uh, now the other blue ring um, i want you to take your hobby knife and a pair of safety glasses and we need to cut a channel on it inside of it so what I do is I just take the knife and then just press down, kind of at an angle, kind of like maybe like a 30 degree angle. And then I come in from the other side, and press down again, and then you'll see that the, the paper just comes right out and it leaves me with a channel right there. And that channel is for the shock cord to lay into, like that. So with it in the channel, I'm going to put it on the end of the tube. And this one gets glued flush. But before I do that, I'm going to take, take the shot cord, wrap it around, and I want to tie a knot, tie it there. And I usually make a slip knot. It's not slipping. <laughs> so I'm going to undo it. There we go. Now it's slipping. Okay. So I'll put some glue here. Smear it around. Press it now. So now this end I want flush with the tube like that. Pull on the shock cord, cinch it down. Pull tight on that knot. Now I'm going to put a fillet of glue on this end. Okay, now this little excess piece. I'd like to cut that off. So my trick is to lay it on my cutting board. Just cut as quick as I can. Right there like that. Okay, now this is the engine block and that's going to go into this end. Right there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. Put it in there. Take something and spread it around on the inside. And I push it in this side with a the motor. Push it into the glue. And I want it all the way to the edge again, flush with this edge. Now that is the right amount, so then pull this out, make sure that there's no glue on there so that it doesn't get glued in. 
Okay, so now my engine mount is done. I'm going to take the free end of the shock cord and pass it through here so that I can glue the engine mount into the body tube, which fell on the floor. So here is the body tube, and this is going to be glued into the end of the tube like that. So now when we glue it in, I want to make sure you'll notice that there's slots in the tube, and that's for the slots on the through-the-wall fins. I'm just cutting it out here so I can test fit it. So when I put it here, it needs to be able to fit nice, okay? So when we put, when we glue everything in, I can still get the fin in. So, <clears throat> so what I do, I take a wood dowel. I'll use this one. Put some glue on the end. Now I want to put it in past the front of the slot and then just smear it around like that. Now I'll put this in. I'm not going to push it in all the way. I don't want to get it into the glue. But now I want to get some glue onto this end here. And then a little bit of glue on the blue. Okay, now I'm going to push it in one smooth motion. I want to clear, make sure I don't see either of the blue rings inside and then I'm going to wipe off any excess glue that oozed out. Okay, now look through the, uh, the tube and if there's any glue on the bottom, go ahead and take a, that toothpick and get it out of there while it's still wet because if it dries <laughs> then you're not going to be able to get your fin into that slot, like that. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and in the meantime, I can go ahead and start sanding my fins, putting an airfoil in them.